Okay, welcome back to my channel. You can see we got chicken here. Um, I'm going to make some cabbage soup with chicken in it. So I'm going to just salt and pepper this chicken and I'm going to bake it in the oven. Um, that's all it needs if you're going to be putting it in some kind of soup or something is just salt and pepper because you'll change the flavor of your soup if you use, you know, seasons that you don't want in your soup. So, salt and pepper. And then I'm going to put it in the oven to bake. So, I'm going to put this in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then we will start the process. I'm going to stop the camera, bake this, and then I'll get right back to you. Okay, so we got the camera turned around. I've got the chicken in the oven baking. And, I, and I'm not going to boil it in my stock pot because I like the flavor of it baked better. So... I'm going to add some of these um, chicken bouillons. I don't know if y'all have used these before, but these are great. Chicken, beef, tomato, um, they really add the flavor. Um, I even put those in my canned vegetables. Sometimes it really makes them taste better. But anyway, this soup that we're going to make is my cabbage soup. I love it. I'm going to be putting some celery in it some rice and um, I've got some tomato paste tomato juice I'm gonna put um, this I just love this but I usually don't use this but I love this so I'm gonna add some of this to it chipotle um, peppers and adobe sauce that adobe sauce is so good so I'm not probably gonna put the peppers in it but I'm going to get that juice out because I love that juice. But anyway, these are the ingredients I'm going to use. And um, I'm going to use this pot. So we've got to wait an hour for the chicken to bake. And then it's got to cool and I'll take the bones off of it. But I'm going to show it to you how pretty it looks when it comes out the oven. So we'll be back uh, shortly and uh, look how pretty the chicken is. Okay, so I thought while uh, we wait for the chicken to finish that uh, we go ahead and cut up some of this cabbage. Um, I usually try to cut out as much of that rib stuff as I can. Uh, this one was right there in the cabbage, so those are tough, so I take those out, but I just want to cut them up in squares and let's see if I can give you an example. Squares that will fit in a spoon, so... squares like that that you can actually get in a spoon when you're trying to eat um, that's the size you want you want, you want them in bite size so um, cut your cabbage you know if it's a little bigger than the spoon that's okay because it's I mean it's still going to fit in there even if it's hanging over so um, just try to cut them in bite sizes soup where you just throw everything in it and a stone 
when they cut, say it's stone cooked, I mean it's got a little of everything in it. And uh, some people claim that the stone gives it a, a flavor like seasoning, so throw a stone in your soup if you want some extra flavor. See this big rib right here? That's what I'm talking about. I hate those big ribs. So, um, I cut the leaves off at each side and just throw that big stem away. Uh, I also hate that, that they leave in lettuce. You ever get a hamburger and all you got is those ribs, that white part of the lettuce? Blech. They make us suffer through that at the fast food restaurant. You just want to take it back and say, here, I don't like that kind of lettuce. See this one right here, it just came up with the part that um, I put in the bowl. So you just cut your uh, cabbage up in steaks. And once you've got it in steaks, you can pretty much just uh, cut the strips. size you know I'm putting chicken in this but you can put hamburger meat of course cook it first um, hamburger meat you could put cube steaks um, uh, you can put any kind of meat that you want uh, I even put bacon in it fry it fry up some small pieces and put the bacon in there with the cabbage that's really good, but I don't have any today, so I won't put any in there. But anyway, you get the idea. So we've got a um, cool front coming in. We're fixing to be down in the 80s every day. Texas heat is just about to be over with. As a matter of fact, I think the heat wave has kind of moved over toward uh, the Alabama and Virginia area. So there is relief for us Texans. second recipe I've made with cabbage. You know, I made my coleslaw before and showed you how to cut it up, but nothing fancy about this cut. So this is only like half of the cabbage. Since cabbage cooks down, I'm going to go ahead and Put a lot in there. It's time to get our Halloween stuff out. I know there's a lot of controversy on Halloween. Some people don't like it, some do. Um, I do. I was raised by. Uh, Christian family, my my dad, and my mom were, and they did believe in Halloween, and we went to church every Sunday morning, every Sunday night, but we always celebrated Halloween. I could always depend. My mom and dad would fix up our front porch and um, scare us half to death before sending us out trick or treating by ourselves. Uh, you know, don't we all have good memories of Halloween, though, when we were kids? Um, when you were young, 
had to go with somebody, and then when you got old enough to go by yourself, you'd get to go further, stay out later, go places where your parents didn't tell you you could go, just as long as you were back by the time they said get back. So, you know, Halloween's got a lot of good memories as a child and as an adult with your own children and your grandchildren, it just goes on. But Halloween is a good time. I wish people would lighten up about it. It's not the devil's um, holiday, you know. It's it's at the harvest, and the harvest is when the fall leaves blow, so it's kind of a spooky thing. And people just need to lighten up about it. Okay, so there's all the cabbage. Let's see, I think I'll cut up a little bit more while we wait on the chicken. I wish I could smell it. It's starting to smell really good. comments below one of your favorite Halloween memories I would like to hear about it and if you plan on taking your kids out or just trick-or-treating or fixing your porch up if you do that I don't anymore I used to but our neighborhoods changed over and we don't have that many children around here anymore. Um, we've got a few, but they all go to parties now on Halloween, so they don't trick-or-treat. Some of my special neighbors, they'll come by and trick-or-treat before they go to their party. But we still decorate the yard, you know, so the people who are like, oh, cowboys aren't doing very good. <coughs> he scared me. <coughs> Allergies. Maybe. Okay. I know this looks like a lot, but trust me. Cabbage cooks down just like greens or spinach or... Put that in there. Got us a big old mess of cabbage here. See this big old rib right here? You can tell because it's all white. Nobody wants to eat that. We'll get rid of that. Anyway, I'm making this big pot because I'm going to make some like TV dinners uh, when I get this all made up. I'm going to make me up some little, drop some on the floor I get that. And make some TV dinners. I can get eight, ten, maybe more TV dinners out of this that I can eat for lunch or mid-afternoon or whenever I get hungry. Even for dinner in a pinch if you, if you forget to lay something out. Cabbage soup is really good and it's healthy for you. the whole head.
tell you, they have it. We work us so hard. Okay, so now I gotta dig out this celery here. So. into a big old piece of celery but I'm not really a celery fan but they give the soup a really good flavor celery and the cabbage so while we finish waiting on the chicken I'm gonna clean up this mess and we'll um, have this ready to put into our our cabbage soup so I'll be back in a minute when I clean up the mess okay so um, we're gonna go ahead and get this pot going. Um, I've got uh, two of these of water in here. So we're gonna start with that and if we need more then we'll just add more later. But I'm gonna get this water hot and um, then we're gonna put the cabbage in. We'll go ahead and get the soup going so that when the chicken's done and we get it deboned, it'll be ready just to put in because it's going to be done so we don't have to cook it or anything. So, this cabbage will cook down um, when it gets soft. So it looks like a lot, but it'll cook down. You'll see. diced tomatoes so we're going to use these um, just use any brand you want it doesn't have to be any special brand but um, just add the diced tomatoes in there I'm going to add a little water to rinse this out Tomato paste, uh, but 
I'm going to wait until this cooks down just a little bit. So, um, give us a spoon. This one will be good, but we'll let this cook down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just put the celery right on top. It's already pretty now, and it looks the colors in there. So um, we'll let that cook down just a little bit while we finish waiting on the chicken. And I'll get right back to you. Okay, so we're gonna look in and see how it looks. It's been boiling for a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to take another peek at the uh, cabbage soup and see how it's looking. So it's all cooked down. It's looking delish. Now we just have to wait until it really softens up. But I think I'll go ahead and put some um, tomato paste in. Got enough liquid in there. We'll give it a real good stir. Ooh, look at that. It's already starting to look good. I think I'll put some pepper in, in there. I love pepper. And just pepper to taste. Everybody likes different. Some just like a little. Some people like a lot. I'm going to put a lot of salt in there because all the tomato sauce and the tomato juice is all got sodium in it. So I've got this tomato juice. I'm going to put some of that in there. So you can tell it's real tomato-y, but and cabbage really goes good with tomatoes. And then we're going to add rice to it. Um, my rice is instant, so I'm not going to put it in too soon. Doesn't that look good? Okay, so we gotta check the chicken. see how the camera is okay you can see it so um, let me scoot this over let's take it out and see 
where it looks like it's hot. This is hot. This. Okay, so I'm gonna cool the chicken off so we can debone it and finish cooking the cabbage and then we will come right back. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Okay, I got the chicken off of the hot platter, I mean the hot um, pan and put it on a platter so it can cool off. So once we get the chicken cooled off, then we're gonna put it onto the um, into the cabbage soup so I'm going to go ahead and turn this down and let it simmer the cabbage is cooking nicely and then we'll come back okay so chicken's cooling it's not cooled yet but it's cooling but we're gonna go ahead and add the rice just a little bit of brown rice Okay, so the rice is cooking, and it's going to be so good. That, with that chicken in there, eat. Let's give it a little. That's not salty at all, so I'm surprised. Anyway, uh, we'll let that simmer while we wait on the chicken to cool just a little longer, and then we'll come back and and check on the process and get I wish you could have smell so you could smell how good it is okay so we're gonna take the chicken off the bone so we can get it into the I don't want any of the fat Just a good meat. You gotta get this one bone out. Little point bone. Get those out. Okay, so I'm going to do them all like that, and then I'm going to come back whenever we get the meat all in there. Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to add the chicken in here. Looks good. The chicken looks good. I'm gonna let that simmer a few minutes, and then we'll get us a bite of it. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all after I've got them made up in the meals. It's 11 meals right there. Those are gonna be some good lunches. So anyway, um, I just wanted to close the video. Well, I can't even get them all in the, there you go, in the video. Those are really good, delicious. Okay, good night. And I've got four packs of chicken legs. There's two chicken legs in each pack. So there's four meals right there. So that's 15 meals with just $5.50 worth of chicken legs. So, bye. Okay, we are back. We've got everything done. Um, the chicken's been simmering in here for a few minutes, so we're gonna try it. what I was talking about when I said cut the cabbage in bite size. So cabbage soup with chicken, my variety, I've made it three or four times and I keep making it a little different every time, so make you some, change it up the way you like it, put some beef in it, uh, put uh, beef tips, uh, hamburger meat, sausage, we did sausage once, so good. Charlie don't know I saved him a couple of chicken legs over here for him and Robert. So, um, I hope y'all try this recipe. 
like I said, try uh, changing it up however you like it. So. Mm. I know what y'all is. It's good. We down here wanting him some. I'm going to get some. Okay, so. Cabbage soup. Try it. I love it. So, anyway, what I was going to say is, um, when my soup cools off, I'm going to put them in these. These are perfect. I can just stick them in the freezer, make some TV dinners. Um, I can pop these in the microwave for lunch, um, mid-afternoon snack, or even dinner. So um, I've got uh, eight, eight here, and I'll use every one of them in this pot right here, making me some dinners. So um, the chicken leg, the legs, I only paid five dollars and fifty cents for the whole pack of the. Um, leg quarters. Um, I get them in those big bags when they're on sale. I think they were 59 cents a pound uh, yesterday when I bought them. So when you make them up like that, that really gets the cost down. Plus I've got four bags of frozen legs left over that's got two in each package. So that's four meals of just frozen um, chicken legs that I didn't use to make the soup with so I'm gonna get at least um, 15 or 16 meals out of a $5.50 bag of chicken uh, chicken legs but anyway um, that, that was why I was making the cabbage soup so I could freeze me up some um, TV dinners and save some money. So that's my frugal tip for today. Um, cook you up a big pot of stuff and then um, make, make them up and put them in the refrigerator. Um, I tend not to use potatoes because potatoes don't freeze good when they're cooked. But rice freezes good. Uh, any meat freezes good. But cabbage freezes real good. So I'm going to... Um, get this meal down to, I bet you, probably like 75 cents a, a, a meal when I get done with it. But anyway, um, I'm going to finish eating this before it gets cold. And adios from North Texas. Adios from Tejas country. And goodbye from Cowtown. I'll talk to y'all soon.